up B gang today we're going to be talking about how to care for your hair after combing out long first and foremost you need to know what your hair porosity is and your hair type which is your curl type so once you figure out which side you lean on more it will make it a lot easier for you to know how to maintain your hair what products to use when you're maintaining it on wash days you know you'll be able to figure that out which brings me to point two knowing what products to use on your hair once you figured out what your hair porosity is and what your hair type or curl type is you'll be able to know what products will be good for your hair be it when you're washing your hair when you're um doing a protective style Whatever you will be doing, you'll be able to know what products will work for you. Find what products work for you. You may be in the same hair type and hair porosity as another person, but the products they use may not work for you. So find the products that work for you. Start light. Don't go for heavy, chunky products. Start very light and work your way up. If it's maintenance routine during um, protective styling, whether you're in twists or braids, you can decide to do the LOC method, LCO method, LCC method, whichever will work for your hair type. So make sure you figure out what products work for you. So once you've figured out how to maintain your hair, your hair type and hair porosity, find a moisturizing routine. You want to make sure your hair is moisturized as often as possible maximum hydration you want to make sure that after, while you're moisturizing or even after you've moisturized your hair and your hair is dry it doesn't look dry it looks fresh bouncy you know finding a moisturizing routine will make it a lot easier for you if you want to moisturize every day depending on your hair type or your hair porosity um you want to moisturize every alternate day well and good once you figured out your hair porosity you will be able to know what moisturizing routine will work for you another main tip you need to do is deep condition your hair and protein treatments every month if possible or every two weeks depending again on your hair porosity and your curl type those will be very effective to give your hair a lot more elasticity from um, being in a certain way it was just in one state it didn't have any other way to be unlike when you're a loose natural you can do a lot with your hair twists braids you know locks are versatile yes but it, you won't be able to have like an afro you know a high puff and all that which gives your hair a lot more elasticity a lot more um freedom to do whatever it wants to do so when your hair is elastic that is like when it shrinks it shows you that your hair is healthy shrinkage and elasticity go hand in hand so if your hair is shrinking that definitely shows you that your hair is healthy so you want to make sure you have a constant routine of doing deep conditioning and protein treatment during wash days most especially during wash days you want to make sure you properly detangle your hair because your hair was used to being in a certain state it was just in locks that was it so now you'll be in your hair a lot more so you want to make sure you detangle as efficient as you can if possible please finger detangle the less um manipulation you do to your hair the better because it will definitely continue breaking that is obvious you will still lose some strands of hair so you want to make sure you finger detangle as much as you can mostly on wash days if you can section your hair in a in four five um twists depending on how much hair you have and then work on each section be as gentle as possible take your time in each section don't rush wash days that's why people say wash days take the whole day because it is a task <laughs> on its own so you want to make sure you finger detangle as much as you can if you're stuck then you can you decide to use a comb but finger detangle as much as you can so after you figured out your hair type you figured out your moisturizing routine you know what products to use on your hair you know how to maintain it 
you want to make sure you trim those split ends because it is a hundred thousand percent sure you are going to have a lot of split ends depending on how careful you try to comb out your locks like i did i took my time with each lock but you will definitely have split ends mine weren't as bad but since i was thinking of really cutting my hair completely that's why i have a bob so they weren't as bad but i had to lose some inches i lost about three four inches i guess i'm basically back to the same length i started my first set of locks so you want to make sure you trim your split ends don't be chasing length on this side we are all about health over length no matter how long your hair is if it's unhealthy it's just going to keep breaking and with split ends they go all the way to your roots and if it goes all the way to your roots you're going to be losing a lot a lot of strands so please make sure you trim your split and your best bet to maintaining your loose natural hair will be protective styles be it twists be it braids be it bantu knots be it mini twists they will be your best bet to maintain your loose natural hair for like the first couple of weeks because the less you do to your hair the better it will be because you've already lost a lot of hair while combing it out you don't want to lose anymore so after you trim out your split ends make sure you find a protective style that you can have for at least a week and a bit and then take it down and then another week if you can braid at least that will take you for about three weeks to a month so protective style will be your best bet to be able to make sure you maintain your loose natural hair and also help you um keep the moisture in if you moisturize your hair every alternate day having a protective style will make it a lot easier for you to moisturize your hair and keep the moisture in another tip on how to maintain your loose natural hair after combing out your locks is avoiding heat as much as you can i know you've not had your loose natural hair for a really really long time for there are those who started their locks when they were kids so you're just actually feeling your own loose natural hair for the first time so you want to see how long it is you know you want it in a simple way but heat is not really your best friend heat damage is real so if you do not want that make sure you avoid heat as much as you can you can have a silk press i've seen majority of people who've combed out their locks do silk presses the first time after they come out the locks so you can do that for that first time then after that find a protective style or styles <laughs> on how you can manage your hair as the days go by so heat and your hair mm -mm. no and last but not least be patient be patient with your natural hair just as you were patient with your locks as they flourished and grew long and lustrous and luscious be patient with your loose natural hair we tend to over manipulate our loose natural hair because you can do so many things with it every single day but that does not work it works against you i mean you look good and all that but your hair is dying and it will tell you it's dying because it will be dry it will be brittle if you're using a lot of heat it will definitely be brittle you're gonna have a lot of split ends if you over manipulate it it's just going to be a hot mess so be as patient as you can with your loose natural hair it will grow if there's something i learned it's with locks your hair will grow it will grow i never thought my hair would grow but <laughs> locks showed me your hair can grow just let me do whatever i want to do you know moisturize me as often as possible and let me do my thing so just the way you took care of your locks do the same with your loose natural hair it will actually be a lot easier for you to grow your loose natural hair if you maintain it properly and efficiently like you know every two weeks i'm doing a protein treatment or i'm going to deep condition every wash day a 
a protective style every two weeks you know make sure you trim if you have any split ends your hair will grow it will be beautiful it will be so nice and long i know we all want really healthy long hair but if you're overdoing it that won't happen <laughs> so i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you take these tips to heart and hey see you on the next one